Antarctica in horses, not widely documented in equine textbooks, if at all, can be acute or chronic. It presents as mild to moderate hind limb paresis or a gait anomaly, which won't necessarily present as clinical lameness. It typically occurs unilaterally, but in humans has been diagnosed to occur bilaterally. There are several palpable trigger points on gluteal and sacral regions, which can confirm the condition. And in the equine, these points are similar as for the human. So adjacent to the sacrum, dorsal to the tuber coxa, a point on the middle gluteal which is central to these points and there may be one just caudal to the tuber coxa. In equines the pelvis sinks or collapses on palpation and when a paniculus test is applied for example, the extension test of the pelvis, lumbar sacral joint extension and lateral flexion is typically absent on subsequent trials. So you may get to do it the first attempt, but the horse may block it on the second, or it just may not be able to extend at all, or it will be restricted. Here is a video of sciatic point palpation. This shows the points. And palpation across the tuber coxa. This is the caudal tuber coxa point. One in the middle. These are sensitive, painful on palpation. The horse is uncomfortable. This one more so. This is the sinking on palpation. The sacral points and that mid point, the gluteal point. Again, tubercoxa point. And you have to press comparatively firmly on those. Lumbar sacral extension is minimal, but needs to be confirmed with palpation of that region. So limited extension there.